Hi everyone, I'm Roshan from UCSD. Today I'm going to talk to you about our recent work. And with this work, we evolved from enabling localization for indoors to enabling context-based navigation for indoors. We all have been using outdoor localization for a long while now for many applications and we all love it. And the main reason for this is because of the availability of mapping softwares like Google, Bing, etc. Aided with a satellite system like GPS or Galileo that provides real-time location in these maps. Can we say the same thing for indoor localization though? We have a couple of decades of research into indoor wireless localization and we still cannot perform many important and simple localization based applications like accurate user location for contact tracing is still not deployed in for indoor settings in the current pandemic, pandemic situations, right? Or even for a simple application like going from a shop to shop in a huge mall uh, in, using our smartphones is not yet deployed. Or going, back, going, going to these autonomous settings where we want the boss to do work for us and maybe bring things to us, right? Unfortunately, we cannot think any of these applications coming to life anytime soon. But why is that? Firstly, most of the indoor location systems work without a context. What I mean by that is that they just, they just spew out random numbers in an abstract space as shown, but what, where is this 15 meters, 90 meters, 30 meters in this scenario? Is it in a dining area or a bathroom or a conference hall? And even if I have a map of my living space, let's say, I won't know where my TV is or a couch is in this space. And these details might not always be important for me, but they are for a board that is going to be navigate, navigating in these spaces, right? And in, in addition, the, while there have been two decades of research in Wi-Fi based indoor localization that claim to achieve up to a few decimeters of median localization error, there are more than 10% of cases where the localization, localization performance goes as inaccurate as few meters and this is not acceptable for many cases. So today I'll talk about two systems, DLock and MapFind that work in tandem to give us both context and accurate localization. And we do this firstly by designing a novel learning based approach to provide accurate user location. Secondly, we design a bot that gives us both context of the map for this map for this location and also collects labeled Wi-Fi data for training our model. Finally, we deployed, collected, and released a public data set of more than 108,000 data points for training and testing under eight setups. Now let's see how we do this. The main challenge for localization though is that the signals does not just come to this access point in one direct path, but rather along multiple paths. And we don't know which of this, which of these is a correct path, right? And this is a fundamental problem of multipath and localization. And what makes things worse is that the direct path is blocked and I cannot get the actual estimation of the correct path in any possible way. So how can I get the actual location in either of these cases? A simple solution is if I knew exactly what and where these obstacles and reflectors are, I can get the location of the user. But unfortunately, to describe these properties is extremely complex. And this is where deep learning will help you in building an implicit model of the environment and localize accurately. To further enable deep learning solutions, we represent our data as these unique images which capture the environment properties we are talking about. And using these images, we create our deep learning model, which looks as follows, where we have one encoder that creates an implicit representation of the environment. And then there are two decoders. Well, the bottom location decoder provides us accurate user location. There are a few hardware imperfections due to different devices that we use that are taken care of the top transition decoder. And more technical details of the same can be found in a 20 minute video. So I told you how to get a more accurate X, Y in an abstract space. But as I told you before, this abstract location is not sufficient. We also need context to enable navigation. So we built this cool bot called MapFind, which has a camera and also a Wi-Fi device that goes around and collects data for our training. And this bot also simultaneously maps for this space as you want it, with all those tiny details of desks, chairs, and tables, whatnot, just like your Roomba. And in fact, we have open sourced the data for you. The current version of our data set is across multiple setups and has up to 108,000 data points. A version two of this data set that would contain up to 1 million data points for wireless and low data will soon be released. We aim for this data sets to become a constant baseline against which any algorithm can fare with, thus pushing indoor localization to realization. Further details of the data are at the link provided. We use these data sets and compare against two state-of-the-art localization algorithms, Spotify and baseline deep learning model, right? Well, they show high median, very high median 90% error, errors. You can see that DLUG outperforms both of them by at least 85% at both median and 90%, right? 
please refer to our paper and one minute video for further details. Thank you, and I'm open to your questions.